Hi James, my name is Caitlin from Next Level SEO OKC. Uh, you reached out and commented on my post on the Home Inspectors group on Facebook. So I just wanted to hop on here and show you some tips that you can do for your website to get some more traffic uh, flowing to your business. So <clears throat> I'll go through three things today. We'll go through content, citations, and backlinks. And then I'll also show you how important it is to land on certain areas on Google to gain some real estate and gain some ground uh, to get traffic from them as well. So the first thing I'll go through, like I said, is content. So when I'm talking about content, I mean this stuff right here. So all of this area um, that talks about you and your business and what you guys offer, this buyback guarantee is good, all of that business. So Google really likes you guys to have anywhere from a thousand to 1500 words on your home page alone. Then all of these other small pages need to have anywhere from 500 to 750 words. And the reason that is, is Google will kind of feed through your site and they want to find the expert in this field, in this area. And that's one way that they, they rate, that they rank you guys. Um, so you have about 549 words on your front page and um, you know that's pretty good that's a good first step but we really want to get you to 1500 words to beat out all of your competition as far as ranking next we'll talk about um, this program I use it's called AREFS A-H-R-E-F-S and you can get it as well but it just shows you a bird's eye view of the back part of your website so right here is DR or domain rating this means the power and ranking that your website has on the internet. Right here are backlinks and you have 219 which is a great start. Um, backlinks are just little links that you click on other people's blogs or articles and potential customers and clients will click those links and they come back to your website. So you have 219 spread out through 24 different websites. And then we also have organic keywords. Now organic keywords are going to be just keywords or key phrases that people search on Google to find your services and find your business. So uh, let's see, and this is also the ones that you have on your website. So we really wanna make sure we're targeting high volume um, with low KD. So high volume is going to be how many customers or, or people are searching Google with these keywords per month. KD is keyword difficulty and that just means <clears throat> The lower the number, the better, because not a lot of other businesses or other companies are competing for these words. So if you have high volume, that means a lot of people are searching, but it's not on a lot of different um, uh, other companies, other companies' websites. Then we're going to look at traffic, and that's how many customers you're actually getting from these uh, websites here, or from these searches here. Position is what number you fall on Google's page. So there's 10 positions on the front page and from there you will have um, you really want to fall within that first five or that first three positions uh, once you're you know in the 20s and 30s you're on that second and third page so we really you would want to focus on adding a lot of this into that content that you need to put on your your home page okay now we'll kind of go into Google so home inspection uh, locust or locust <laughs> groove is is uh, the the keyword that I chose to put in because when people are searching they just kind of put their area and they find someone that will they'll take their business right here's what we call a Google map pack I'm sure you've seen this if you're looking for a specific restaurant or you know maybe to get your hair cut things like that this is where you will register your business with Google once you register with Google you'll get a postcard in the mail you put that code that comes with it into your Google account therefore you have a Google my business account and so you're now registered with them <clears throat> once you're registered we can do the next part that we talk about which are citations and that will get you in this area you don't have a whole lot of competition here because these two have a website there's no direction icon and there's no phone icon and that's really what you want ideally you want to uh, have your customers be able to get to you and then get in contact talking to somebody between one and three clicks. This next part down here is the um, organic listing. So this is going to be what I just talked about. This is how you get here is uh, content and backlinks that I just talked about. 
So really the first business I see, I mean, all of these are ratings and blogs uh, to find a service, but you want to be the company on there, uh, you know, way up top here. So the first one I found is First Priority Home Inspections. If we go to their page, they have their website's not good at all. Uh, your website layout is actually pretty nice. Um, their website's not appealing to the eye whatsoever. Um, they only have 190 words on their content for their content. Not a lot. Um, you're beating them there. Now, what I found interesting was they are beating on this domain rating at 12. Um, and if we go look at yours, kind of show you here. So you have 3.3 there. Now you do have 219 backlinks. They only have 125. We have a saying that not all backlinks or citations are created equal because some hold more weight and more power than others. So they may have some really good backlinks on 30 different websites. Their keywords, they don't have a whole lot of keywords at all with like no volume. So this would not be a hard company to beat out. And I've looked at some of the other competition you have. It's not going to be hard to beat out. Um, but you want to get the widest area. You want to pop up at the top of each one of those. Next, I'll talk about these citations. So your business has 13 citations. They have 29. And those, again, are what is going to get you at the top of this Google Map Pack. So you enter naps into different websites, which are simply your name, address, and phone number, exactly how it's written uh, for your business, and that creates a citation. So, you know, they have quite a few more, but after six months of being with me, I really get my clients, like to have my clients anywhere from 350 to 500 citations, just depending on their kind of business and how much power they're needing. So I know that was a lot. Um, Thank you for commenting on my posts uh, and allowing me to do this. If you do have any questions, please give me a call. Uh, send me an email. I'm here for you. I'd love to help you out. My number is 405-627-2693. My email is caitlin at nextlevelseo-okc.com. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.